Okay, so the next step in this building a blog, not blog, website process will be to actually have something appearing. Um, I've put uh, Leventy into the project. I don't have uh, any scripts yet. So really kind of a simple way for me to solve this is to head over to the documentation. Um, and let's get started. So um, command line usage, blah, blah, blah. Um, we want to drop it into kind of like a package, I guess. There we go. Uh, so we want to serve and we want it to uh, refresh automatically. So um, that's what we want. So I'm going to do a dev. Um, I don't need MPX because it's running inside of NPM. Um, that should not work. Uh, maybe that. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's because I don't have it installed as a dependency. Right. Okay. So. Um, I do want to install this as a dependency. Um, I'm not, I don't know, like I, I, I'm not going to use MPX to do the kind of running because I want it to do a build further down the line in um, Netlify. So I want to install um, Eleventy as a, oh God, what am I doing? As a dependency. So I'm going to npm install that. And that should give me, I would expect, a bin directory that then I can run npm run dev. So npm run dev. Cool. Okay, so that worked. Let's grab that host and see what we got. Nothing, which is perfect. Um, so it's serving content from site. Um, in Insight, we have a README. Where did that come from? Oh, because it's reading that directory. Okay, so I guess README. Yeah. Okay, that's not what I want, but it's working. Um, and I guess it's this input and output. Uh, so I need to get some kind of config in quickly. Where is the config? That's what I'm looking for. No, it's not. Oh, that's what I want. This config file. Dot eleven to jump dot js. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, paste. What was it? Uh, do that. Dot. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't paste anything into that. There we go. So the input is gonna be source. Uh, I'm gonna make source. And I think that's fine. npm run dev. So there's no files. I mean, let's create a um, new file index.md uh, gym with me. Let's run that, see if we get it. So we should get. So same kind of page, right, cool. Okay, so the very next thing I wanna do is um, just read in the data, which we generated from the um, from the job, the build process, um, read that in and just iterate over each one of them um, and print out what we've got. I don't remember if I can do that with Markdown. I'm pretty sure I can't. Um, so let's have a look. Markdown. I don't think I can. I could be wrong, but I'm probably going to be better off using something like, I think Nunjux tends to be where I kind of land. Um, so does this work out of the box? Using different environments. Okay, cool. Um, right, okay, let's just rename this to index.mjk and change that to, I don't know, uh, well, anything, hello, 
world. If this works, it should just spit the string out. Okay, cool. Um, I have a feeling that's not live reloading, yeah, because there's nothing, there's not enough of the HTML. So because there's no real HTML, the uh, live reload doesn't inject. Um, so we could, uh, let me just change this to HTML for a second. No. Oh, I've got uh, HTML. Okay. So, in with me. So now that I've got this body in, it sh I think it does actually do live reload. So p just testing. Yeah. So if you do this stuff with like uh, with eleven t, I think some other libraries do it as well. You actually need a bit more of the body because I think it's looking to kind of inject this live reload part, which is why that wasn't working. I want to put this into a layout uh, document later on, but it'll do here for the moment. Um, what I do want to do is tell this to iterate over um, data. So we look for uh, creating data, page and data. So here we go, this is what I want. So I'm going to pop this into the top. It's not pagination particularly, or is it there already? Maybe it is there. What did I call the file in the data directory? Gins, maybe it's already in there in gins. So let's try uh, what are we looking for? Global data files. We have underscore data. We have our gins.json. So we're using the magic underscore data directory. It should be exposing it. And uh, I've forgotten how to do loops. Let's do nunchucks. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. All right, so UL. And we're going to do items in gins. And I think it was title. For item in gin, so I don't know why that does that. Let's hide that. We don't need the output. I'm sure that's supposed to be magically picked up. It might be that this needs to be in the source directory. Let's see if that makes any difference. Okay, yeah, cool. So we've got two things. We remember we had two gins. If you watched the first video. Um, I've obviously missed area name, not title. Cool. Okay, so that's appearing. Right. So um, remember, we used um, Mike Street's uh, L House Rocks. We're gonna pinch some of this layout just for ease. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do like a a card thing. Um, like a partial, but for the moment, I'm just going to try and drop it into here just so I can see what is going on. Um, item dot. What is the what is the structure like? Let's drop this into JQ term and do first keys. So we got uh, description producer. That's what I wanted. Um, producer. Um, And let's use description. This is a, a to do. I'd like to kind of run that through Markdown. I'm pretty sure it's going to uh, want 10 multiple lines. So, rating. Um, out of what did we say? The 10? It was 10. So, out of 10. Let's wrap this up as well. Span uh, class equals my rating. I'm sure I should be using kind of micro, micro, what's it called? Micro, micro, not Microsoft, uh, micro 
data. It's not what I'm thinking of, but microdata, that kind of thing, to mark this up as a review, but that's just for SEO juice. Do we care about that? No. Um, and we want the date, so item.date. Probably want to format that. Um, and I'm making this up. There's no format uh, function. I'm going to create a filter that's going to give me a nice um, uh, date fn format, I think. So I format the date something like, I don't know, something like that. No, last Friday, like that. Distance from days. Uh, let's do, uh, okay. So actually that's not gonna work for a second. Let's just get this working. So cool, nine out of 10, monkey, seven out of 10. Um, photo is another part we're gonna do, right? So add a filter, so a go, um, and that goes in here. And I need to remember how to do it, or I can look at the documentation, filters. So we're gonna do um, add a filter and, oh, not liquid filter, non jugs filter. And it's called a go, and we get, I guess, a value, value. And I'm gonna install mpmi-datafns. So I'm going to install data fence and I'm going to use this format distance. So return. So this will be the value. It's not going to work. Const format distance equals required data fence format distance. Cool. That looks right. Didn't like it. Okay, so what's this error? Um, invalid time. Let's try that. I think it's just the, yeah, so that was a data fence throwing off an error. Like that, or that, or that, or that. Cool, 20 hours ago. So, that's a start. What if we want to have um, individual pages? We want that. It's a pagination. That's where we were a minute ago. Um, so we can do. Um, this but size is one, if I recall. So let's create a single. I'm going to call it underscore single to NJK. Um, and the underscore is because it's standalone or um, like a, a magic one and this will be h1 and I think we need an alias is that right so this should give us I don't know I'm thinking I'm thinking aloud Alias, there we go, that's what we want. Resolve values, this resolves to there. Uh, it's not quite what I want. So the permalink is gonna be this. Um, gin, uh, don't like that variable name. Yeah, that's what I want. Item dot slug. I don't know if that's going to work. I should probably look at the output here. Um, that's spewing errors at the moment. Oh, for heaven's sakes. That's spewing errors. This is something that I struggle with um, in 11T is that the errors aren't 
super useful to read. Like it's telling me it's having trouble with the, the template. Um, I think it is trying to tell me where it is, it's here. Um, but I've seen errors like this before and it doesn't make a great deal of sense to me. So let's have a look at this item dot, um, what's it name? So let's have a look at what it spat out. Ah, okay, so we've got something going on. Um, let's add permalinks to the index page. So we'll put a, a link here. Oops. I know I should be doing like, what was it? Class or rel, ref, I don't know. Anyway, um, this will be gin slash, what is it, dollar? Oh, I can't remember. How do I put it inside? Maybe it's just a, no. um, item dot slug. Nice. So there we go, it's starting to work. Um, this isn't right but I think that is bad in the JSON. Where's our slug? Yeah, so you can see the slug is bad. So the, the, the slug is bad, but it's, we'll fix that in a second. Um, maybe, I mean, I don't know what more I would want on an individual page, but I'll dump this here for a second. Um, so that's kind of working. And I think that the Wimbledon gin was printed done first. So really I want the, um, the newest at the top. So let's change that now. And so we want the newest at the top and that is to do with the data generation and we'll fix the permalink, the slug rather. So let's do that. Um, so the slug is doing, oh, there we go, that's why. It was a leftover from my copying and pasting. Um, so we've got to get a copy of the image, and then what we'll do is um, dot sort a b, and then we'll do return a dot from less than b dot from. Okay, so npm run build didn't work. That's because I've moved the directory. So that goes into source. I'm gonna check the data. So we're looking for the slug. Cool, that looks like it's working. Um, and the order is Wimbledon is above. Where's monkey? Monkey's there. So that is, oh, it's doing the oldest first. That was the wrong way around, wasn't it? No, it wasn't the wrong way around. It was this was wrong still. No, it's still still completely wrong. Maybe it's just the other round. I always forget this thing. I can't really bother to Google it. Okay, so this is a newer timestamp than this one. Cool. So that should be at the top. Now, if we npm run dev, we should be getting the output. So monkey47 at the top. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do now is take uh, the HTML that's in there and make it a layout. So let's search for layout. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can set a default layout. I can't remember. So layout. So this is voiceover rem. Um, at this point, 
I started trying to add a layout thinking that Eleventy could do kind of global layouts. And though technically it can, I couldn't find it anywhere in the documentation. And I kind of went round and round and round as you can see me spinning my wheels here. I tried to copy from the FFConf code base. That also failed um, and eventually just searched the internet for a global uh, template and landed on this solution. Okay, so I have solved the, um, well, I haven't solved, I Googled until, or duck, duck, going back, until I've got the answer. Um, this now has the global layout that I wanted. Um, I end up landing on this uh, issue on 11 C. jump down to this. Um, I start off with a solution where I put the base.njk into the data JSON file. Um, and it didn't really work. Um, so this suggests adding layout.js and just module exports equals, you know, the name of the, the, func the file. So layout.js in my case has layout space.njk. Um, it's because I've got layouts directory. If I didn't have that, I guess it would work. Um, but that seems to do the trick. Um, so yeah, I guess what would be useful is if in the singles, I could get the title to override. So, um, page title, or I don't think that's going to work. Voice over rem. It did not work. I needed computed values. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So computed. Wait, is that arbitrary or not? Uh, voice over and back again, uh, the pipes were causing a problem, causing Eleventy to crash. Unexpected symbol got pipe. That doesn't mean anything to me. I'm guessing that this is, it's that there. It wasn't. Nope, it is. This is where this was failing and not a problem. So I don't think, oh wait, is this or? Ah, no. Okay, and this needs to be that. No, that doesn't work. Oh, jeez. Um, wait, that did that work? No. Wow, that worked. And then we can do title. I don't think title is a variable. So what I'm trying to do here, voice over rem back again, is to concatenate the pipe which in with me when you're on a single page. I just went through the wrong way. I don't, can I, wait, or just do it as um, if page title. Oh God, page title. Title. Else, oh my God. Yeah, that did the trick. What an idiot I am. Oh, okay, so that's the end of that. That is layouts. So what we've got, we've got layouts, we've got data, um, and we have single uh, pagination and just a simple filter at this point. The next phase will be to style this 
and um, the next phase after that will probably be to have it deployed to Netlify and then my plan is to join these two up either with a regular kind of like checking job which Netlify can do um, via kind of a cron service or to um, look at if this then that so if this uh, if this then that um, I wonder if there is a trigger that I can come off of um, uh, a Dubri. Let me just sign into my own account. Oh, actually, like, let's have a look at, um, I'll be able to find it first. So, uh, Sheets, Google Spreadsheets. We want to say, uh, can we look at what the triggers are? Details. New row added. There we go. That's exactly what we want. This fires when a new row is added to the spreadsheet you specify, um, and we will hit a build endpoint, uh, which will trigger a build and redeploy the website. That sounds absolutely perfect. Um, I have a an if this then that account, which is is good. Um, so I should be able to redeploy this anytime I add a new row to this. Um, cool. Okay, so that's the plan for the next video. Thanks for bearing with me.